YouTube, thanks for checking out LeboView. Today I'm going to continue on doing camera items because I have a lot of camera stuff that I need to go over. And today I'm going to talk about a bag. I just got it out of the box from Amazon. Let's take a look at it. Here's what it comes in, the box and then the bag. So we'll take the bag off. This is a Canon brand bag and it's called a custom gadget bag and it's a uh, part number 100 eg uh, it's a pretty good size they list this as uh nine inches across uh by uh, seven inches by uh, five inches so uh, th that's about right and basically what this is is something to hold like a dslr type camera which we don't have but we do have a canon sx520 hs it's a power shot and it's kind of like a DSLR shape, uh, although it's a point and shoot. And that's what we got the bag for. So let's look inside here and see what we get out of it. Well, here it is. Here's the bag, obviously. It's going to have uh, zippers here. And inside right away, you can see there's another separate pouch up here. Of course, this is probably gonna be for uh, something relatively thin because this is a pretty heavy padding that's here. Uh, so much that it doesn't really wanna bend too much, so. What can fit in here is going to be thin stuff. Uh, gives you a very well padded, very thickly padded strap. I'm not sure why because honestly with a pad this thick, you could probably carry a bowling ball before it would come into play. I mean, it's just uh, a little bit overkill, but hey, not so bad. This is kind of nice. I don't know if you can hear. These things are metal. They're not plastic. Yeah, these are metal that's that's definitely a step up inside there's two divider pieces they're held on with velcro on both the front and the back so they can be moved to make it thinner or wider however you need and then each one has a flap that goes over top that would keep whatever's in there from uh, coming out if you had to put something else on top so you can see what I mean you can put stuff down in there and they actually become little compartments again very thick padding very heavy padding uh, nothing cheap about this at all uh, the bottom same thing very thick padding let's go ahead and look at the front here here you got another zippered compartment and again there's a uh, another small tight pouch but more importantly there's a couple of uh, pouches on the side here for extra lenses again this is designed more for a DSLR but we're gonna be using it for our point and shoot I'm sure we're gonna find all kinds of stuff to be able to put in here and take up this space. Uh, the nice thing is, is it's not overly big. They make a couple of other bigger ones, but it's so actually compact that they make it to where if you unsnap here and here, there's a strap in here and you can kind of wear it like a fanny pack. I don't know if I could wear it as a fanny pack. It seems awful big. Nice thing is, is that strap stores in there all the time. Uh, it just snaps in place. So uh, once you're done with it, you can put it back and snap and it stays in there. Or uh, if you want to put some sort of a small monopod or something in here, you could do that because it will pass through all the way to the other side. Um, and it would keep it secure to some extent. I, I like that feature. I'm not sure if we're going to use it as a fanny pack, but uh, we might use it for a straight through storage for a small tripod or something. We already test fit the camera in there. We've got a uh, PowerShot SX520. Again, we'll be doing a review on that. And it fits well and there's plenty of room for other stuff. That's what we were really wanting. But in her case, she didn't want something so bulky that she had to worry about carrying around a big case. And most definitely, this is not a big case. But it's not also so small that I think, again, if it was a fanny pack, this is probably one of the biggest fanny packs that I would see. Yeah, it, I mean, it's kind of like a lunch pail. I don't know if you would take uh, a lunch bucket and strap it onto your waist. So I don't know if that's going to be the, the usage for the uh, strap in the back. I'm going to include the link down below. If you'd like to purchase this, click the link. It'll take you right to it. Uh, it'll get shipped to you right away. I really like this case just from the quality of the hooks that are metal, uh, the zippers, everything feels very positive about it. Anywhere there's padding on here, it seems to be very thick and the denier that it's made out of seems like something that could take quite a bit of an abrasion before it's going to wear and cause a problem to where the components inside that you're trying to keep safe would actually be exposed to anything. Uh, again, camera bags, they can handle quite a bit, but at some point they all wanna fail. 
this one is going to do us fine. We will have this for the life of the camera and then some, I'm sure. So the link's down below. Click the link, it'll take you right to it. And I appreciate you watching LeboView and stay tuned for more camera accessories. Thanks, bye.